Hey, uh, here we are again. We're going to talk more about Phaser and um, JavaScript in general. And, uh, you know, so far our game looks like this. We can click the splash screen and play the game. You know, I notice the circle actually kind of does some funny things sometimes when you, uh, when you hit a platform. So maybe we want to change that. But we can, you know, everything's in our power here. Oops. Uh, let me... I'm trying to win the game. It's taking a little while here. There we go. Okay. Actually, I'm trying to lose the game. I want the bomb to show up so I can get uh, bombed, right? Okay. Oh, so there I, I lost the game. And when we lose the game, the message here shows up, and that's kind of good. Um, the problem, though, is that I, I want to be able to restart the game by clicking on something, right? And right now we can't do that. I've been restarting the game by clicking the reset button or, I mean, the refresh button in the browser or doing command R in the browser, right? Um, and that's kind of not satisfying, right? So we want be people to be able to, to reset the game, right, while they're playing or restart it. So let's take a look at our code. So we have two scenes. We have the, the game scene and the preload scene. And if we look at the preload scene, you can see in the constructor we've assigned a key value by passing it to super right um, and so this is the key for this scene so if we say like key is preload so if we want to talk to this scene kind of like or we want to reference this scene kind of like we reference an image you know when we when we loaded an image we gave it a um, a key value right so we can name you know, use that name to reference the image. Like, you know, we, we created it here with the name logo, and then we referenced it here when we wanted to display it with the same name, right, logo. Um, if we look at game scene, we can see game scene has the same thing. Super right here says, you know, super game, and this is the key for this scene, right? The key is game. Okay, and uh, quick one, if we go to the preload scene, we can kind of see how we set this up, right? We, um, how we set up a, a, a mouse input, right? So we've got this input on pointer down, and when a pointer down occurs, we have a function here that says this dot scene start, and we name the key for the scene. So um, to restart the game, maybe we can do this. Let's go to um, game scene. And we need to figure out where we lose or where the game ends, right? And for us, I think that happens down here in um, hit bomb, right? So this is where we get hit by a bomb. Maybe I'll put a comment in here. Hit by bomb, right? And in here, we've got, you know, a physics pause. It stops the physics engine. It tints the player red. You know, it tells the player to do the turn animation. Um, sets the game over variable to true. We're actually not even using this. This was put into the game in the code, but it actually doesn't really do much. Um, and then we display our game over text. Why don't we also add a, um, a you know, a mouse click? So, you know, when we're hit by the bomb and we pause the game, at that point, we'll add a listener for a pointer down event, and then we can send ourselves to um, back to the, to the preload scene. So essentially, we can just do this line of code right here, right? Actually, you know, since I'm here, I'm just going to copy that, and then I can go here, and I can paste it, and on a pointer down, instead of going and starting the game scene, let's start the preload scene. Okay, so uh, so I can do that and then um, tap on this, play the game. Let me see if I can lose gracefully here or quickly. Um, I gotta get a gotta get all these stars and there's the bomb. Let's see if I can get hit by the bomb. Oh man, I dodged it. Let me see. If I can. Ah, I'm trying to get you know you know when you're trying to lose and it's hard to lose. Let's see. Oh, there, I lost the game, and now I can click and start the game over. Now, what we want to check is that if the that event doesn't happen, so I'm clicking the mouse here, and it's not sending me back to the preload scene, so i got to lose the game first for that to happen, okay? So anyway, there's a quick um, 
a quick tip on using phaser and we're just borrowing ideas from the existing code and kind of moving it around to get our game kind of you know working a little better right but now the game like whenever we we end we should be able to head back to the to the start screen and then start the game over again okay um thanks for watching i hope that was helpful